Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today's video is gonna be about reverse pyramid training, which is a type of training style that I'm gonna explain to you how it works. I'll bring you with me during my workout. I'll do a commentary, so I'll explain everything there. But first of all, I just wanted to share the news with you guys. So this company, Fitbest, contacted me a few days ago over Instagram and they asked me to review their product. Right now they send me a grip strengthener. So during these days, I will, I will be using that, I will be trying that out, and then I'll share with you uh, my opinion on it. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. So without further ado, I go to the gym, I'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome to this workout commentary. Unfortunately, I'm a one-man team at the moment, so it's quite difficult to provide you with some dynamic shots at the gym. So for this day, it's gonna be a workout commentary, it's gonna be a static recording, Hopefully you enjoy the angles. I'm doing my really, really best to provide you with the best possible shots. So today we're going over a upper body workout and especially we're going over the reverse pyramid training technique. As you can see from the video, after a warm up, we started with the bench press and the reverse pyramid training technique is a technique where you start working out heavier for less reps and then the next set is gonna be lighter but more reps so here we start with four reps and we go up to 10 reps increasing by two reps every time and we kept this technique for the first three exercises of the workout and before we dig deep into the workout i would really appreciate it if you could take two seconds of your day and like this video it really helps my channel to grow and be seen by more and more people and that will give me the chance to increase the quality of the videos as well for you guys so thank you very much if you're doing it the second exercise is weighted pull-ups doesn't have to be weighted you can use an assistant pull-up machines here what i'm doing i don't have a belt where i can attach the weight so i'm just holding the dumbbell with my feet i started with 12.5 kilograms and i ended up body weight for 10 at the end once again, four, six, eight, ten is a rep count. We are aiming for for this exercise as well. And here we're gonna target the lats, especially so your back. And it's a great, great exercise, especially towards the summer, where most of the times you may not have a gym, but there's always gonna be a pull-up bar somewhere close to you, maybe at the beach or maybe somewhere else. So exercising this kind of movement is really beneficial for you to keep training over the summer as well so to having the possibility to do so the third exercise is lateral raises we use dumbbells here once again we do use reverse pyramid training technique but this time we start at six and we end up at 12 so six eight ten twelve and the reason why is your shoulders are smaller muscles than lats and chest and there's been many studies proving that higher rep ranges for shoulders is what works best for your body therefore we start at 6 and we end up at 12 and here I try to control as much as possible but obviously being higher weight sometimes it's fine to just swing a bit just keep your core tight and controlled so that any movement is not gonna hurt your lower back and the main benefit of reverse pyramid training is that you're gonna hit a higher weight when you're fresh so at the beginning and slowly you decrease the weight and you increase the reps as i said earlier and this is going to allow you to put more volume into your car as well so the first part of exercise is going to be more strength based training and the second part is going to be more volume so more hypertrophy training and this technique is really really important especially when you're cutting because when you cut so when you're trying to lose weight is really really taxing on your body to just train for strength however to make sure that your muscles stay there and that you maximize fat loss whilst minimizing muscle loss what you want to do is you want to increase the weight and decrease the reps as well and this is a really big misconception that most people have that you need to train higher reps if you're cutting is pretty much the opposite in reality so i really really like reverse pyramid training for this reason as well it really well combines strength and hypertrophy training which is pretty much my goal at the moment and i ended the workout with a superset dips and chin-ups both exercises for eight reps and it is just to add a bit more volume 
um, to our workout and for this day I didn't do abs because I did them the day before uh, I'm training much more often now for YouTube especially so I do not include on every single training abs exercises and after the workout, I did 20 minutes of cardio. My cardio choice for today was an inclined walk on the treadmill. It is a low intensity, steady state cardio. I kind of like those because I can watch a YouTube video or just use my phone during it. And also because over the holidays, I'll be doing more HIIT workouts because it's just quicker. So whilst I can and I have the possibility, I enjoy doing this low intensity, steady state, which usually take more time and they're a bit more boring so now they have time I may as well do them I hope you enjoyed the workout commentary guys if you did please let me know down below uh, I really really appreciate your feedbacks and now here I'm showing you my physique um, I'm five days out from my holidays uh, I'm nowhere near proper cutting I'm just kind of winging it um, just getting a bit more lean but I'm not deep into a cut because I do not want to properly cut up until next year, so up until 2020. Uh, but so far I'm feeling good. I just have a bit more water and fat to lose, but I'm quite content with my physique at the moment. So guys, I'm just back from the gym. Uh, I'm not sure if this clip is gonna go before or after the gym, but anyway, I just wanted to show you here the product that the company sent me. So the package is quite nice, I'll say. So they send it with this nice um, little bag, printed their logo and their, their name, Fit Beast. So the product they send are the following. So we got this here, that is basically how you use it is this, like this, not entirely sure what this does. I mean, I know what it, it does, but this is, you know, plastic. It's a, it's okay, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this. This one, much better in my opinion. So this is just like a grape, and it goes from 10 kilos to 60 kilos resistance, which just, you just move here. And this, to be fair, it really looks like well-made, like the, the material looks really good way better than this and then let me see what they send as well other free products okay so there's these little donut so all you do is you place in your hand and you just squeeze it even this one quite nice I'll say it looks really well made then we go a anti-stress ball that obviously as everyone knows like this so forearms basically and grip and then we got this so you place it in your finger like this and you're meant to try to open your fingers which is honestly quite a weird movement like doesn't feel that natural but yeah so overall, even this one looks well, well, really well made. Overall, you know, really happy. I'm gonna try and use them and try them out for a bit and then I'll tell you how it goes. My, my grip is something that I need to work on. I always known that even when I do pull-ups, that's what basically I lose energy from the most. Um, so I can't do more pull-ups because of my grip rather than my um, lats. So yeah, I'll be using it and I'll be letting you know um, how it is later on in the future. And I'll make a video as well for them in the future. So yeah, really excited. And they have other products as well. They are on Amazon if you wanna check them out. I'll probably leave the link down below. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the commentary, what you think about the workout, if you have any sort of suggestions for me, anything you want to ask me, don't forget that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys.